Good evening guys and warm welcome to chapter number eight of that conversion story and um, what has happened since last time the most obvious changes are I applied some body parts to make it at least looking a little bit like a twizzy again <clears throat> but the more interesting things happened of course inside again so what do I have to offer I brought the 12 volts electrics back to life uh, so headlights are working again and also blinker and the good thing about blinker is um, that required some programming and if you've got everything under your own control you can easily implement comfort functions like watch out Uh, the wiper works again, which requires some programming as well for that interval, you know, every, I don't know, six seconds, I think it gets activated. All right. Uh, what else do we have? Just right uh, below me, I've got now all 30 cells activated which means we are running on 100 volts or 99.4 volts in total um, which is not such a good idea because the gear ratio is the wrong one when I started in the old days I just took some pulleys which were simply available already machined to adapt them to the motors but they are much too big the gear ratio is too long uh, the Twizy as it is right now runs at a top speed of around about 140-150 km per hour and I need to adapt those much smaller pulleys to the motor but um, I'm missing hardware so I need to order some parts and so this might take some time and so far and the vehicle is uh, way too fast and suffers a little less acceleration. All right, so far I think it's time to set the baby free. So where's the remote control? Here it comes. Uh, second try. All right, here we go. And so let's get in here. Let's take a seat. Let's close the door. It's pretty dark. I also activated the original uh, button for the menu. Here we go. Currently it's set to neutral. Let's switch on the lights. And let's activate drive. Yes, D. D sounds good. Okay. So far nothing new. It's moving as usual. Uh, furthermore, I already managed to incorporate the regenerative braking so if i release the throttle uh, it gains back some energy so let's move some meters okay we move some distance some meters we use some uh, charge some amp hours and also some energy measured in kilowatt hours and now it's time to pause the video and I'll come back to you guys in a couple of moments all right here we go uh, let's buckle on first uh, safety first all right make it moving again
been better to pause the video again. I'll come back to you guys in a couple of seconds. Alright. Finally we're back home. Uh, 1.2 kilometers. Um, yeah, lots of data, motor heated up a little bit, um, maximum power 27 kilowatts, uh, top speed is definitely wrong, sometimes I've got some, some uh, bad messages between the microcontrollers, maximum current was uh, 300 amps and uh, highest regenerative current gaining back energy was 24 amps. Ah, that's how it works. All right. Okay, so far that's all. As you can see, lots of progress. I'm satisfied. Vehicle starts making fun. Uh, current limiters uh, for battery and motor are at 60%, so there's still lots of uh, space left for more fun. And with the right gear ratio, there's another 20-25% more acceleration out there. I think uh, I will move into mechanical problems, um, so I need to stabilize the dual drive unit a little further more, but this will take some time because now I will take some uh, days off, I will have a break, I will go road cycling in the, in the mountains, relaxing a little bit, taking a deep breath, and then I'll come back to you with number 9, which will be mainly about software and software and software. So far, stay healthy, take care, goodbye.